determine why consistent service matters in recruitment. We've all heard a million times, consistency is essential. It's in the way we're taught in school, how we're told to parent our children, and, in many cases, in the job. But one of the most interesting aspects of recruitment is how it brings together people with a wide range of personalities. Some are natural go-getters, which fosters healthy rivalry in the battle for a higher commission. Others foster and nourish excellent applicants, gradually guiding them to the ideal position. We all have our own way of doing things. However, as a leader, you want some consistency in your operations, an organized way of doing things that you can understand, oversee, and manage. That is how you provide the same experience to your clientele year after year. But why is regular service important? Is it a must-have for every firm? or an overblown metric that doesn't make a difference? What consistency can do for your business? The primary advantage of consistency is for your clients. They will receive precisely what they anticipate no matter who they speak with. This level of uniformity extends across three major domains. Client journey consistency. Clients are constantly aware of the process, whether they inform you about a new opportunity or report back after an interview. Emotional consistency. Just like in real life, consistent experiences foster trust and loyalty. Consistency in communication. Ensuring that everyone uses the same terms, vocabulary, and explanations at every step of your process. Simultaneously, consistency may be beneficial to your company's culture and environment. When individuals know what to anticipate and what is expected of them, they may work more successfully within those boundaries. Nobody wants their job to be a series of unexpected happenings. The following are four reasons why a systematic applicant evaluation process leads to better hires. An inconsistent process leads to inconsistent results. A non-standardized process is not a process, but rather a random collection of criteria. If the selection criteria for each evaluation are different, it is hard to establish the efficacy of each data point utilized for selection. Which criteria were most useful in the decision-making process? Which criteria were useless or perhaps harmful? If you regularly follow a structured method, you will eventually understand the answers to these questions. You have no standards without a standardized process. Without a standard procedure, there are no standards. The first stage in developing a standardized process is identifying the process's goals or criteria. What are the skills required for our work and our organization? The first step in standardizing the recruiting process is to solicit opinions from job subject experts and codify their capabilities. This initial phase is formally known as job analysis. The stakeholders have determined and formalized the selection process's standards by performing this first step. Everyone is using the same measuring stick. A consistent hiring procedure guarantees that your recruiters and hiring managers make judgments based on the same criteria. What constitutes a good candidate? Joe and Alice's conceptions of good may differ greatly. The company offers the concept of good for all team members participating in the recruiting process by standardizing the procedure and criteria. When discussing candidates, everyone uses the same vocabulary. A recruiter or hiring manager will communicate a recruiting choice to a team member concisely and correctly. Because of the uniform approach, hiring managers will have better confidence in the judgments made by recruiters. Continuous improvement. The attitude of continuous improvement drives a lean concept. Any process cannot be improved unless it is standardized. Before any changes can be made, a process must be standardized and stable. If a process changes from here to there, every enhancement will be just another variant that certain team members will employ sometimes but would otherwise overlook. How to breed consistency in your recruitment business. Online learning may be a useful tool for assisting people in working more regularly. While everyone has their unique set of styles, personalities, and preferences, coordinated learning may progressively instill a consistent manner of functioning. Importantly, the adaptability of online learning allows for progressive shifts in behavior over time, a more sustainable method of affecting change than just implementing new rules overnight. 
When employees are exposed to the same training material and courses, they might pick up preferred working methods and smoothly integrate them into what they currently do. Meanwhile, the social aspect of successful online recruiter training stimulates debate and the sharing of brilliant ideas. This is another approach to bring employees together behind a consistent way of working, resulting in a healthier workplace and happy clients and candidates. When consistency isn't key. Finally, it's important to remember that our differences are what make us distinctive, and our distinct methods of working may be tremendous assets to your company. A successful recruitment firm does not rely just on consistency. Like any other people business, those superstar recruiters are continually adaptable to new problems and personalities. However, by creating a foundation of consistency, you will provide every recruiter with the secure, regulated parameters required to thrive.